Caner Universe, it's Caner Tip Tuesday. And today, this strategy that I'm gonna share with you shuts down the majority of the assaults that you might, that you're likely to face out in the, in the street. And before we jump into that, a warm welcome to those of you, especially those who are here for the first uh, time. It's the end of the year, you know, it's right here, that, that's it. Do you have a plan in place for 2023 as to how you're actually going to get cane trained? It's amazing to me how many cane orders come in uh, now for the holidays, gifting and all that, but you leave out the training, the training. And it's very difficult to, this is not, this is so that you can see the potential. I'm very upfront about that. What I'm gonna share with you today has a lot of details that need to be broken down. Do this, do this, text the letter CCC to 305-745-7839. That stands for Kane Clarity Call. Let's jump on a call. Let's find out where you are right now, what it is that we need to do to get you cane train right in the comfort of wherever you are in the world. That's We specialize in that, that's the way we get it done. And also there's a, another resource, There's a, if you're on Facebook, there's a private Facebook group that is open, non-pay, no cost for that. Look up Cane Flow, move better, protect better, live better. Just request entry, they'll let you right in. And what is this strategy that we're talking about that uh, can really shut down most of the assaults that you're, you're going to see, right? And render them done, <laughs> pretty pretty much. And, and that is called anchoring. Um, and, and I'll show you with the cane, I'll show you both with and without the cane, what that looks like. But if I'm in, in a flow here in training, right, you might see something that looks like that, right? Something that comes out here and then there's some striking going on. And then, right, as part of my movement training, part of my movement training, when we break that down, let's take a look at what that looks like. And I'm gonna take it, um, I'm gonna demo it today against a, a common attack and that is something like a, you know, they're referred to as a haymaker, sometimes depending in the context in which it's used, it's referred to as a sucker punch because you got suckered into that, right? So uh, mo moving away from there, looking away, boom, and here, here it comes. We're gonna do this straight, but again, if something is brewing and somebody's asking for direction, somebody's trying to distract it, this is too close already and you're either gonna create some space or bring the cane up here. I've, I'm always talking about that. This in here is unacceptable because I don't trust myself. She throws a quick shot uh, to be quick enough to do something like that. So please start it always from, you know, from at least from here. And then this anchoring that I'm talking about, this is a shot that's coming to the head. This is where the computer is. If they, disorient, if they hit you in the head, they disorient you, knock you out, they can do whatever they want. So the priority is here. And I'm gonna use this arrowing, and it looks like this. When you see it with, with the cane, see the cane teaches the empty hand. This is what you're gonna do with that cover hand. The cover hand is the, the hand, the non-cane hand. That's another way of, of putting it. So if I'm dealing here, when she comes in, I'm gonna move in. Now, depending on the level that you're at, once I move in, I can already start getting head start. Look at my thumb, come in. Oh, right to the eyes as I come in and anchor here. Freeze, don't move from there. Notice that in the, the cane flow movement, we had this, right, which symbolizes, this is telling you that it's this portion of the form that would do, right, the anchor. And now you're coming in here and it's always the anchoring happens above the elbow in anatomical position. So it's gonna happen up here. Now, here you are and boom, this is one way to do this, right? The other one is, and I'll have you come out here. I'm gonna tilt the camera so you see I'll do the whole, the full run here with her, right? Um, here comes the strike, it comes in, boom, I moved in. I'm always to the outside, I'm mindful of that strike. My head is hidden behind, and I'm gonna step back in a straight line. Now there are straight lines and there's straight lines, <laughs> apparently. So I'm gonna put this cane here, show you exactly what I'm referring to. When I move, my foot needs to stay. When I do this movement, go ahead and throw, throw the shot. And I'm gonna anchor up. It needs to stay on this side. It should not do this because if I do this, it gives an opportunity to step in, go ahead and step, right? And she recovers her balance there. So what I'm looking to do is bring her to this triangulation point. That's what's gonna bring her down. 
Now it's freeze there again. Remember how the freeze don't no move from there. Remember how you see pop, 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 because that's what you're doing now, right? She went down and now you'd be doing the striking. This movement that you do once you're down here and you see the cane goes down with this uh, quarter pivot blend. Once you're here, now you can go ahead and do your pin, right? And just say tap when you feel that. Tap, okay, she's tapping with her foot, that, that counts. <laughs> so you see in the flow, when you see it in the flow, you see what we're looking at here is something that comes here, you're coming right back down, pop, and you can notice that you can practice this over and over and repeat, right? And it's not this, for the reason I just showed you, right? Here, move, anchoring shuts down mechanisms. Bring the, uh, the, 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 the mini. And I'm gonna show you this without the tool. So you see how it works with the tool. It's still your nine cover hand that's gonna arrow. You're gonna strike here, step down to that triangulation point. All the weight is going towards that limb. So it doesn't matter if you're not, you know, if you're not bigger, yeah, that opponent is bigger. You already got their mind off of that. You're putting the full weight and bringing it to that triangulation point. But let me show you um, from this, from here, when you don't have that cane, you're coming now. This is a stick, like it represents a blade, a knife as well. And, and it's coming in now, now hey, pop, there, there it is. And now it's above, look at it here, see? Above the elbow. And I do this here to lock it, just say tap or, Tap, tap, yeah, there she is tapping, right? Now, can't hit me with that, can't hit me with that. I step to that triangulation point, again, she comes down, and now, if I stay tight, I may be able to extract. If not, you're gonna have to turn, lock, right? And now the tool is yours, but you're always keeping the tool where you can see it, right? And so, anchoring is one of the two I studied over 250 knife attacks out of necessity. And I'm telling you, you can YouTube it, you can look, look at the videos if you can stand it. If you uh, otherwise don't 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 look at that because they're I hate knife attacks. They're gory, they're fast, they're furious. But it's one of the few mechanisms, especially somebody throwing flurry punches, right? They're coming in here with flurry and pop and pop and pop. Once you can actually anchor and get in there, right? Obviously I would have gone to town already with this, right? Um, but once you can go ahead and anchor, it's one of those mechanisms that can truly shut down an attack. And so you just gotta remember, right? That's the standard way of doing it. And that is above the elbow. And you see the roll of the cane, whether your horn, you saw me holding it here and now I move, boom, that's how you use the horn, right? And then to do that takedown, bring it down, pop. This is not stabbing. That's not what it represents in the flow. It doesn't represent you stabbing. It represents you locking that joint right to extract. So essentially what you're doing is you're anchoring um, to do a takedown and then you're extracting if there's a weapon. Otherwise, finish it off, right? And where you're striking, remember, I'm not the guy that tells you, take them out, strike them to the head. That's not me. Only you can gauge, right? Um, you're responsible at that point for your actions. You have the tool in hand. And that's how it translates um, from cane into empty hand when you don't have it. But it's so versatile because you can use it um, not just against an empty hand wild punch that's coming at you, but somebody's coming in here anchoring. Practice that anchoring. Somebody's coming with an outside slash. Yep. We see where the blade is. Get to that center. See if you can lock down that mechanism. Get better. This represents you locking, right? And see if your partner gently... Um, let me show, show you this because safety is always... Right, first you do something like this, you move in, right? There's levels here on, on that floor of how you're going to, so you won't even see me move. I control it by breathing and then she's, ah, see how progressive I am? I don't just crank it, right? And hyperextend the elbow. So there are a lot of steps, right? This is showing you, giving an overview. If you choose, you make a decision, because this is a decision that you make to get trained correctly and properly, it's gonna go way beyond this into the finer points and it gets broken down. I get asked all the time, hey, King Self-Defense University or you know, your, your a six week challenge or at Benton, all of our core, very, it's different than what we're presenting here, obviously, right? There's a lot greater attention to details, not just to bring your attention or open your eyes to something, it's really to train you, outcome spaced. And the way to do it, guys, again, just text those letters CCC to 305-745-7839.
the holidays are here. Uh, learn how to do it. Have a blueprint, have a, a plan, a strategy that you can follow for 2023. Do that now so that once the new year comes, you're set. Okay? I'm Joe Robina for American Cane Self-Defense. Thanks for watching. Keep caning. Stay safe.